Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So from past few days, I was getting a lot of queries regarding when we can expect CSR net result, CSR net June 2024 exam result. And I thought of making a short video where I can talk about it. And also I'll be talking about a new section which is going to be added in your result. Uh, earlier, like till now, CSR net result used to be in two sections. One was CSIR, JRF and or basically JRF qualified and the other one was net LS qualified. But this time a new section of PhD qualified is going to be added in this particular result. So we'll talk about all these things in detail in this particular video. Before going into the details, let's talk about few logistical things which happens around this particular exam. So this CSR net exam is conducted by three agencies like this is three agencies are involved into it. One is CSIR, the other one is UGC and the third one is NTA. Okay. Now CSIR and UGC, they combinedly conduct this exam to allow or to give certain fellowships, which is called as junior research fellowship. And that's why this exam is called as CSIR UGC net joint CSIR UGC net exam. Okay. So joint means both these agencies comes together and they conduct this exam. Uh, but the uh, like all the responsibility of conducting, deciding the exam center, conducting the exam, giving the interface and all the things goes to NTA. Okay, that's, that's national testing agency and that is responsible for successfully conducting the exam, collecting the response sheet and giving the score based upon the answers which the students have marked. Okay, so the work of CSIR is to provide question paper, CSIR and UGC basically, their work is to provide question paper to NTA so that it can upload it on website and then the exam can be conducted. Then the second work is to provide the answers of the question so that the final answers of the candidate can be checked and the third responsibility of CSIR and UGC is to decide the cutoff. Okay. Now NTA is done with their work for this cycle for CSIR June 2024 exam NTA is done with their work they have conducted the exam they have uh, declared the scorecard they have also like done all the corrections or if there was any uh, possibility of challenging the question that that part is also done. So basically all the things which NTA has to do that has been already done by them okay now everything depends upon the last step which is on CSIR and UGC now they have to decide that how many number of seats they have for JRF and how many seats they have if how many number of seats they have for JRF and what is going to be the possible cutoff based upon the marks which the students have gone so looking upon the score of the students and looking upon a possible marks uh, after which a certain number of students have qualified this exam CSIR and UGC is going to decide a cutoff which will be displayed in next few days and that's what we call its result and then there will be a sheet or, or a detailed result that will be announced that will have your roll number uh, and against that there will be all India rank so that result will only be for those who have qualified the exam so then uh, so these two things are left okay one is your rank wise like roll number and rank wise a, a pdf a sheet which will be announced and the second thing is cut off okay how much marks cut off went for this year and both of these things now you are not going to get that on nta website so till now whatever information you were getting was on csir nta.nic.in okay Till now you were getting everything on CSIR NTA website, but now you will get all the other relevant information that means your cutoff and your final result. These two things will be on your CSIR HRDG website, okay, because that's the work of CSIR now. So now talking about that, what could be the timeline for it? So usually if you look upon the previous exam and if I just take that as the guiding line for that. So the exam uh, of December 2023, which was the last CSI net exam, it held from 26th to 28th of December. The answer key for that was released on 6th of January, which was too quick for that. And then the scorecard was uh, released on 4th of February and the cutoff or the final result was released on 19th of February. So till the date of a score release of the scorecard, the cutoff was released uh, like within 15 days of that. Okay. In the same way, if you see another exam, uh, like exam back of that, which was CSI June 2023 exam, that held from 6th to 8th of June. The answer key were released on 14th of June and the scorecard was released on 25th of July and the cutoff was released on 31st of July. So within a week 
of your uh, score release of the scorecard final scorecard the cutoff was released over there also so considering the last two exams if i say so your recent exam if you look upon the recent uh, exam or the recent scorecard which was released recently by uh, csir so you will find out that this week or this is the week and the next week i mean the mid september week and the last september week uh, that is the possible dates in which you are going to get your result so the final result or the final scorecard will be either uh, it will be published within these next few days so today when i am recording this video it is 19th of september so you can expect your uh, result uh, within the next 11 days or within the next 5 or 6 i would say that as early as it will be result will be given within the next 3 4 days or as late as it should go till the end of the september but it should not go beyond september okay that's that's the possible date according to me and based upon the dates which uh, or based upon the uh, information which we have already keep checking csir hrdg website for the final result whenever the result will be announced i will make a detailed video upon that now let's talk about the third section which is being added this time which is phd admission so till now if you have given csirnet already or if you have seen result of csirnet old results of csirnet you will find that the result was divided into two sections one was uh, jrf qualified under jrf there were two actually sub sub parts of that so there were csir jrf and there were ugc jrf okay and there was another section for ugc net ls qualified students this time they have mentioned already before form filling they have mentioned that this time they are in introducing a new part which is phd qualified okay so those who will qualify and the third category will have cut off lower than the other two okay so earlier if let's say the cut off for jrf goes like let's say 110 marks and uh, for general category i'm saying i'm just telling a random number okay don't take it as a number i'm just telling giving a you example so if 110 was the cut off for uh, jrf then 100 marks used to be the cutoff of net ls so now if this is introduced the phd admission is introduced the cutoff should have been or should be somewhere around 90 to 92 marks so that means now you will have a third section of result now what is the benefit of this this phd qualified or phd uh, like section which they are pro providing in the result so that particular section is going to make students eligible to apply in universities in central universities also i think they are also going to take these students for csr labs so these students are going to be eligible to apply in different places in different institutes for phd admissions i am quite hopeful that this is going to be useful for students in the coming days but uh, what are your thoughts about the third section and how much excited you are for the third section of the result which is, which is for the phd admission I know that many of the students are like, like they don't even remember this is a new section which is introduced. That's why I thought of talking about it in this video. Before ending this video, I just wanted to let you know that we are already running a gamma batch for physical chemistry section of CSINET exam. So in case if you are preparing for the upcoming CSINET December 2024 exam, you can join our batch which is running on our website also on our app. The details are there in the description of this video. A detailed video will be there. The link for that is there. All the benefits which you are going to get from this particular course are there in that particular video. So do check that out and enroll yourself into Gamma Batch if you want to excel your physical chemistry portion for the upcoming CSINET exam. So that's it from my side for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.